Hey, Astro Nerds! C Star S50 and C Star S30. This one is for you too. So, I made a video about a month ago about the EQ mode on the C Star S50, showing some solutions regarding the bolts. And uh, back then, I didn't have a proper wedge, so I used a ball head, and it was absolutely a big success as I show that yes, it can be done with that too. Very simple. A tripod this little thing it's the shoot move shoot <laughs> wedge for polar alignment and precision as it has little knobs that are going to help you for precision pan to the left to the right Okay, so here I am on the uh, on their website uh, move shoot <laughs> move and they have several products that are very interesting and hopefully I will be doing more reviews of this brand. Uh, so the price right now is for uh, $97.88. I actually got it uh, on a deal. I think it was 20% 20, 20 less. It can use any rig with Arca Swiss on the bottom. Uh, it's very light. It's 0 0.7 pounds. Uh, the maximum load, it's uh, 11 pounds. For the C-Star, we're talking about 6 pounds. So it's very safe for the C-Star. Uh, it has a quick, quick release plate. Also has a leveler there. Lock or release the quick plate. Here, another knob to tilt the wedge. And this one, it's going to be for the uh, latitude. Uh, this knob here on the side, it's not going to interfere on anything. The C-Star, as I already tested it, and it's not like the Skywatcher uh, wedge that has a problem with the knob. It's, a, it's in a different position for panning, uh, which moves the, the wedge left or right in a horizontal way. The telescope is in the home position exactly where it needs to be, pointing north which is Polaris. It's literally, I, I have a good sight. And the important part here, it's that the on and off button, it's pointing to the south exactly the way it is right now. The tripod, it's level, more or less. <laughs> it's not perfect. So I have a tree right oh below Polaris. Sorry, I have to do things a little bit different tonight. Put it at 20 seconds right now to EQ mode. It is on EQ mode right now, so that part is good. The wedge in action and that knob is completely out of the way. So now I have here on the tablet, uh, so I need to change a little bit to the right and 3.9 to the left facing the telescope here. Okay, so I am very close right now. 0 0.7, the arrow pointing down and 1.1, <laughs> we're right there. Okay, so I am very close right now. Oh my God, I got it. Wow, okay, so I am polar line. Yee -hee. Okay, let's see um, now. <laughs> and the telescope, it's right here. Let me go and check here on the uh, Atlas. I wanna go, I'm going to do something very simple. Let's see what, what do I have tonight here. Oh, I would love to do the clusters. The star cluster will be really good. Let's go to Messier 13, the great star cluster in Hercules. Oh God, I hope we can find it. And let's just go to it. Finding object. Let's take a look here at the mount because this is about the wedge. Eh, I may have a tree right there on the way. Oh. Object is centered. Okay, so for image enhancing. <laughs> oh. Wow, lucky me. <laughs> I believe it's probably right above the tree. 
We'll see. And if not, then I will have to find another target. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lucky shot. It's not completely centered. Um, but actually, this is a miracle that I got it because it's literally by that tree. The stars look good. I am at 20 seconds right now. And we will see it much better once the images are... Wow, it's starting to look good now. Oh, yes. Um, it's not center. I wish it was a little bit more towards the left, but... Uh, okay, so we got one that failed. I have it at 20 seconds in... Um, uh, star clusters can be done at 10 seconds, but that's okay. And the most important thing I want to see right now is the stars. And obviously, it's on the EQ mode, so... Forget, let's see. Okay, so we know it's right there. Well, object... Oh, now it's much better. Okay. Well, there you go. It's better to go, say, uh, let's say, a little bit above average... So there we are right now. It's um, 1 minute and 40 seconds and it's looking good. It's centered. Okay, we're about uh, 25 minutes, almost 30. The mount is looking great. This is just a KNF tripod. This is the best part right here. So let's see, it's 25 minutes and 30 seconds at 10 seconds. Uh, shutter speed and this is really really good right now I'm seeing it it looks much better than right here on the screen the stars are looking good like I said here on the phone really doesn't look good uh, but there's some uh, galaxy up there well 45 minutes and <laughs> this is doing really good I don't see any problems at all and this is showing very good, uh, but the stars are looking good. I don't see much uh, black artifacts or anything on the edges. And it's going back to the home position. And I am definitely leaving this angle as I normally photograph from here around the house. And that is not going to change the uh, latitude in the right angle so the next time it's going to be even faster so we are back to home position off and time to uh, check on these images i want to thank my new members of my membership program that are starting to join it i am very excited about this and from this video on the names are going to be shown in the screen and hopefully one day i'll need like three minutes of showing the names these are random single frames and the stack image from the telescope with some enhancement. So right now I want to take a look here at the uh, two stacked images and the first one, um, it's the one that doesn't have any enhancement. I just want to examine here real quick uh, edges looking for black artifacts really seeing much so this image looks very good let's take a look at the uh, fits format stacked image that has uh, some enhancement the stars are looking pretty good the big stars uh, we're always going to have uh, problems with the smaller stars even with the uh, large telescopes okay after some basic color calibrations you see the uh, stacked image on the fits format now i'm about to stretch this image uh, using, oh my god, using a statistical stretch from SETI Astro. I'm not going to separate the stars from the background. That's actually pretty good. Look at the galaxy there. And now I'm going to fast forward some of the processes that I use to enhance this uh, FITS format image into a beautiful star cluster.
And as you can see, I was able to get very nice images in only 45 minutes. I hope you liked this video and please stay tuned for more upcoming C-Star tutorials in imaging sessions.